or Syria. It doesn't make sense. Why do you want me to come to your house alone? So basically, it got it got to a situation where I said to the sister, look, let's do this professionally. Look, I can give you the guy's number that will come and pick it up from you. And she's like, no, I want you to come because I want to give you a gift. So I turned around and I said to my wife, look, I don't know this is, you know, what should I do? My wife goes, look, at the end of the day, you go around picking up. Um, If you go to this place, to, to her house, make sure you're not, you're not alone. And what, what she means by that is make sure that when you do knock on the door, there is someone right there with you. Or 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 so or say for instance, um, uh, the brother could knock and you could just be right behind him. So the sister can just give you the gift or whatever. The gift, I don't know what the gift was going to be. Alhamdulillah, I've blocked her and deleted her. And um, basically, she says she wants me to come to the house alone. And how she, she wants to talk to me and bless Allah. And this sister actually tried to cause fitna within my marriage. And what she done here yeah, is my wife contacted her and said, Look sister, my husband's told you, my husband's given you a number. Please don't contact him because there's a brother you can contact. This is his number. And the sister tends to say, Look, I've already spoken to your husband on the phone, but your husband told me your your husband told me not to tell you because he knows you're gonna get angry or so and this sister is trying to cause fitna from a marriage, you know. But Alhamdulillah, me and my wife's relationship, Allahu Mubarak, I mean, you know, no piece of uh, low life is going to get in our way You understand what I'm saying And what people need to understand You know in this whole situation with polygamy yeah, You know uh, I'm going to own up and say Look it's not for me Some brothers I, I salute the brothers that go through polygamy But in regarding for myself I know my heart I know my heart Polygamy is not for me And it will never be for me I would never change my mind Alhamdulillah you know, and these sisters come forward and, and these sisters stuff flies in their message with them. I can tell you're not happy. I can tell you're not happy. I'm some psychiatrist. I can tell you're not happy. This and that. What is wrong with these sisters? I can tell you're not happy. You know, do you want, do you, you know, you can, you can be with me or this and that. Sisters, fear Allah, man. I'm a married man at the end of the day, man. Don't, don't try and ruin a man's marriage. Please don't try it because you won't, you, you won't ruin mine. That's for sure. But don't try and ruin other people's marriages at the end of the day, yeah? And it's got to a stage, yeah, where basically um, the sister said to my wife, look, I've spoken to your husband. Your husband told me not to tell you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Hello, what the hell happened here? My phone dropped. My phone dropped. <laughs> um, basically, the sister came forward and said, and said that, um, look, I need to... Um, I need to, I need to tell you that me and your husband have spoken, and I've never spoken to the sister, you know. So I don't know why she's trying to cause fitna. So I blocked her and deleted her. There was another time, yeah, and this is not even me bragging, and I know a lot of people might think, look, understand, yeah, marriage, second wife is not for me. I put my hands up and say, second wife is not for me, and um, it's only right where, um, it's only right for myself to. To be out there and telling you guys, look, I'm happily married, alhamdulillah, I've got... And you know what these sisters turn around and say to me? But, but, but she's older than you. But she's got a son. And, um... And to be honest, may Allah forgive me, and this is something I haven't informed my wife about. But, I'm you know when certain sisters, I think, I think they, they... They want to get married or they want you to show them attention because they want they want you to fulfill their desire. You understand what I'm saying? So this is somewhere I this is a road I would never go down. And um there was a situation where I spoke to the local imam from Lucia Masjid where a sister was actually stalking me. She knew where I lived, basically not where me am but um, she knew where I lived, she was following me, and um, this is this is scary, you know when you got sisters like this, like, like what kind of jinn are you, like for goodness sake, you're trying to ruin a man's marriage, for what reason, to fulfill your own desire, yet you were following me, she had pictures of me, I contacted the imam, and um, obviously not pictures like that, but I'm talking about pictures of when I was in hospital, I don't know how the hell she got in the hospital, Understand? This is after, after, after closing times, you know, 
this is when I got stabbed. So basically, I contacted the Imam. The Imam spoke to the father. I spoke to the father. You know, the father said, you'll forgive us. That will never happen. And he said, you're going to deal with it. And so on and so on. <laughs>